Would you like to know how to get your hands on free images so you can make your own Twitch emotes and sub badges? Then make sure that you stay tuned to today's video. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where you're going to learn how to live stream like a pro with technology you should know. Not too long ago, we did a video based on how to make your own Twitch emotes and sub badges. However, what can you do if you're lacking the images and resources to really get those things going? Well, stick around to the end of the video and we're going to share with you our free image resource guide. But before I share my favorite resources, I want to share a few do's and don'ts when it comes to Twitch emotes and sub badges and using free images. Do use original art. If you're able to create your own art, then by all means do that. The more original you can be with your Twitch emotes and badges, the more your community is going to identify with you and you build that no like and trust factor. Don't go Jojo. If you aren't very good at graphic design, then be realistic. You'll know if your designs aren't worth a darn when you share it with some people in your community or your close friends and they kind of give you that weird look or they drop that try hard emote on you. Do use vector based images. Vector based images are really very simple to work with. As you may have seen in our previous video when it came to making your own Twitch emotes and sub badges, vector based art is easier to resize and make smaller and also create a design around it. Don't use vector art you don't have the rights to. Here's the deal. Twitch is really, really, really tight when it comes to producing your own emotes and badges that you own the rights to. And if for some reason you're just doing a Google search and grabbing any old image, someone else is going to be a little butthurt when it comes to using their stuff without their permission and without compensation. So just do yourself a favor get vector based images that you own the rights to. And of course, once again, stick around to the end. We're going to give you a free image resource guide. Do add your own touch. Here's the deal. You can get these free images and that's all well and good. But if they're free, that means a lot of other people are also grabbing those free images and using it for themselves. So you're going to want to put your own spin on things. For instance, if you take a look here at my Twitch emote, what I did was I used a flaming fireball and then I put my really jacked up looking mug right over top of that. It makes people laugh. The people within my community love it. And those that have subscribed at the tier two level will just spam that inside chat when it comes to my live streams. Don't simply use free images without putting some type of spin on it again. There is a lot of people out there that are utilizing these free image resources. So you're going to need to be original. But where can you get these free images? Well, I'm going to share my three favorite image resources. And as well, if you stick around just a little longer, I'm going to give you an entire list that you can get and download and use at your own discretion. In no order of importance. One, Vecteezy. Vecteezy is a great free image resource that I found some time ago. They have a lot of images that are just robust with colors and so many t types of options. Now, fair warning though, there is attribution required. When it comes to attribution, this means you have to give credit where credit's due. So if you use art from Bekteezy, and even if you crop it down, I would recommend that you at least say something in one of your panels over on your main channel page and give credit to that artist. Two, deposit photos. Deposit Photos isn't an entirely free website. In fact, a vast majority of their products are high quality images that come at a bit of a price. However, if you really pay attention, you'll notice they actually have weekly free images you can download just from having a free account. You don't have to buy anything and the account doesn't cost you a dime and all you got to do is just peek in from time to time. So I highly recommend that you visit our referral link at livestreamingtech.site slash DP for deposit photos. And lastly, Pixabay. Pixabay is by far, hands down, one of the best 
free image resources you can get on the market today. And when I started on this particular website a number of years ago, they had maybe thousands of images you could utilize completely free, no catch. Now they have millions of images that you can utilize and they're all free. How do they function? They function on donations. So if you feel, feel real generous, you can always just make a donation. And a lot of these images go to freelance photographers and freelancers that are doing graphic design that just do it because they love it. But those aren't the only websites you can pick up free images. In fact, I've got an entire list of about a dozen different websites you can get free images on. And all you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter at livestreamingtech.site slash guide and you can get your downloadable guide immediately. But what do you do with all these images anyways? Well, we actually have a perfect tutorial that shows you exactly what you need to do with your Twitch emotes and your sub badges with free open source software called GIMP. You're gonna check out in this next video. I'll see you there.